Hi, I'm Noelle Hyman with paperclipping.com, and we are in the ideology booth with Tim right. Holtz. CHA 2015. 2015. You know I'm going to say it. <laughs> I am. All right, so we're going to look at your new stuff, and we're going to look at some projects to see some of the potential of all this great stuff. Yeah, I mean, always my favorite with ideology is just kind of the inspiration people have from the products that are designed. I think as a designer, by far the most rewarding thing. So uh, for this launch, we did a line called Correspondence, which is all inspired by kind of vintage correspondence, postage and handwritten letters and postcards, and it just it has such a great nostalgic vibe, but also such a kind of a today's trend of communicating and keeping in touch with people. So you can use it for a variety of different projects, and we'll come back to these more in detail, but you can see that it, it still has that great vintage vibe, but also you know some pops of kind of red, white, and blue. And the paper line itself, really cool. Everything from maps to tickets to, but also if you see the backgrounds of the paper this time, you'll see some patterns, some either retro pattern or bold pattern or wallpaper or stars or polka dots. And so this is really a line that I think has a lot of crossover appeal to a lot of paper crafters, whether you're a scrapbooker, card maker, even mixed media. So right. let's go through all the products that we have in the line. do si do <laughs> Okay, so we got metal there's stuff a, and other kinds of stuff. tons of stuff, stuff yeah, tons of stuff. So first we'll talk about design tape. Now. Um, in the past, I've had tissue tape, and I still have that in the line. That's always been a translucent tissue. Design tape is now a printed paper. It's actually a little thicker than tissue tape, but it has a much more bold, crisp pattern, and you'll see it on a lot of the projects. Over here, we have uh, a very cool, I can't wait to show you this later. Um, these are called heirloom roses, and what they are, they're just resin roses, but they're in different sizes, and they come cream because we can completely alter these, which I'll talk about in a little bit. Go across, these are loop pins. So what's fun about a loop pin is it's a safety pin on one side, but kind of a loop on the other. So if you want to attach a charm or anything that hangs off of a project, you don't need a jump ring anymore. So yeah, you can just yeah. slide that on and just pin it onto a project. We've got some great new adornments. It's called Souvenir, these charms that has like a clover, a star, a globe, fleur-de-lis, little things that I thought you would pick up along your journey. You know, if you go to a souvenir shop, that's what I wanted that to represent, were little trinkets you can do uh, for any project. One of my favorites, these are called type tokens. And what they are, they're little flat coins with a hole in the top that has just some sort of word or sentiment typed into it. Yeah. So it says found or XO or story, and there's 24 different words in there. So great to attach to a card or any kind of project. We've got mini star fasteners. These are really tiny star brads, super, super tiny, uh, but they make a great accent, especially if you want to not only use it as a fastener, but kind of line those up, space them across, uh, and create mm -hmm. like a metal border like nail heads. Yeah. One of my favorites. She's back. But she has her arms, her legs, and she's got a dress on this time. These are salvage <laughs> dolls. Um, this was inspired by fracture dolls that I did years ago, but people really love the charm of these vintage dolls that you can dress up and uh, alcohol ink. I'll show you what you can do with a very simple, simple doll like that. Then we kind of swing down to this next row over here. We've got flashcards. These are double-sided flashcards. Um, I launched these uh, for the holiday line where I did Christmas words. These are now your everyday words. There's 72 different words in there. Um, so you can go in and kind of mix and match and add those to projects, which you'll see. Is the back the same as the front? Totally different. Oh. Yeah, so now you have what, 144 words, I okay. guess, to choose from, which is great. So the foundry frames, these are really heavyweight frames. Yeah, if you want to just grab one. So what's cool about this is that I wanted something that would be solid on the back. So I could attach it to the front of a journal or if you're into jewelry, you can use it as jewelry or you can use this a lot of different ways. And as we go and look at the projects, just remember that this beautiful, even though it's a very intricate frame, can uh -huh. really be adapted to a lot of different things. It's nice. It's really substantial. It's really cool. And detailed. It is. It's super, it's yeah. so intricate, super intricate. So these are fragments. So fragments, again, this is something that I had probably seven years ago in the line. They're acrylic shapes that you can adhere over papers and photos and really alter them to make your own custom acrylic charms. So here's a great project. This is from Policini. I just want to show you. You know if I'm hitting the light right because I know there's got some reflections, but you can see that just adhering them over paper or photos with glossy accents totally changes them. And that little vintage hue over the top of everything is mushroom alcohol ink. That's what gives everything that vintage look. Over every, like, do they do the, how are they getting the, oh, are they putting it on the glass piece or the whatever? So they're the, basically taking the fragment, the acrylic mm -hmm. piece, they're applying glossy accents to it, sticking it onto a piece of paper and cutting off the excess, and that's it. But where does the mushroom go? The alcohol ink would go on the 
on the fragment before you glued it down. Okay. So it's really on the inside. So you can see that it's kind of trapped under there. Yeah. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, that's super cool. So cool. And then there's your letterpress with your great part. So uh, fragments are new. Let's see. We'll swing across. Also original. I love that kind of the, the product that I've had just continues to stay in the line. Makes me super happy. I love it. Um, <laughs> these right we've here. got new trophy cups. Uh, now these guys don't be fooled by their beautiful shiny appearance. They could be shiny and blingy all you want, but we have grunged them up in some of our projects, which you'll see. These are new tiny vials. These are actual glass that have a cork top that you can use. Uh, you could take a little screw eye and you can put them in the top and use them for charms, or you can add them to your projects. They're really nice because they're small and they're intricate and they're cool. Super cute. Yeah. Down here for a charm, we've got new shield charms. Now, uh, there's a lot of different products in the line. I have heart charms and type charms and all of that. These are shields, which basic, basically is that shield shape that you can put the sticker in and it comes with that custom epoxy that goes over the top, okay. which is very cool. Then all of right. course, um, we'll talk about some new structures. This is also really exciting. So one of course is the clip carousel and I'll show you this. This is basically the structure here. You assemble it. it, it can be adjusted to any height and any depth Then I'll show you. And then we've got this guy. This was my workshop yesterday. This is called a flip frame. And this is really inspired kind of by that like cheap frame at Ikea, you know, that plastic one, which is, you know, what we had, but I wanted to <laughs> totally change it and make it better. So this is made out of metal I and mean, this is a, a hefty frame. The base, you can unscrew. It already comes in this great tarnished silver, the detail in there but I've also included these notches in the top. So it comes with these two rings that allow you to take any of your projects, punch two holes, and now you can take this and you can just flip your art through it. So you can tell your story. So what's really cool about this is that you can go in if you went on a trip, you can kind mm -hmm. of document that. You've got great little pockets throughout this entire thing and everything flips right around the frame. So you can make this into a calendar, you can make it into mm -hmm. anything you want and then it just sits on your table because it's a beautiful frame. Is that ribbon, does that have the new cracked pistachio on it, do you know? Or is she using this, other colors Oh, here? this is cracked pistachio. It is. Yes, this is cracked pistachio when you mix it with broken china. Oh my god. Yes. I'm telling you, when you mix that color with one of the original Distress colors, it's magic. Anything so can happen. That kind of yellowy green came from That's the That's the fusion colors? of when oh they come god. together. It's kind of like yeah. when we did pumice stone and that, it turned yeah. blue. It's That's so crazy. It's an interesting animal, I'm telling you. It's really cool. <laughs> and then, of course, we've got these mini mason jars and these are really great because this is a very unique size i designed this size specifically because uh, obviously we know mason jars are hot for a lot of different things but i wanted something that was vintage it's got this great star it says vintage quality and you can fill them or create projects from them so let's talk about some of the projects real quick yeah. you're good with that right. so here just to show you this is some of the new stuff i talked about so here's the trophy cup now you can see that uh, this is oh. from kath holden she does beautiful assemblage yeah in gold there's the foundry frame turn gold and you can see a lot of these elements where she took some of the correspondence paper she mixed it with the wallflower collection that we launched last year it's just it's a great kind of mix of how things can work together yeah and then look at how different this frame the same frame becomes when you exactly so this is a foundry frame layered with one of the ornate plates for ideology so when you put the two together now it creates a totally different embellishment yeah. and that's what I was saying like you know when people take those products and just start kind of having a creative play and mixing them up, anything's possible. It's very cool. So some of the projects. Clip carousel. This is really cool because what this is, these are adjustable. So there's a little um, wing nut in there that can adjust the height of these layers. And this could be spun around. This is something, you know, has been in the industry before, but it's long been gone for many years. And, and I love this structure, so I wanted to bring it back. I only wanted these two layers. And so here you can see that Paula did this with, you know, just adding anything. You could add charms or stamps or photos or anything you want to this carousel yeah. just to make it super fun and kind of leave it out so you can display your artwork your photographs anything on there and it even comes with a split ring on the top of it that allows you to slide in some art or a sign oh. or anything like that to top it off okay which is really cool, cool. so this one i can see has the do, what do you call these charms? these are the type tokens, the type tokens and tokens. you can see the little, the star little star and i saw the the rose here yep Look how cute. So it looks like metal because it's been alcoholic, uh -huh. but it's really resin. Here you can see there's one of those little clovers. Uh. But you can see the back paper, this is all correspondence. So you can see that that correspondence, even though you're thinking, oh, it's kind of like all postage postcard. No, it just has that kind of vibe to it mm -hmm. to really allow you to kind of mix that up. Here you can see a trophy cup. And that's been mixed in there. Now, this is another new product. This is called Photo Booth. And what this is, um, this is a strip of photos. I'll, get, I'll grab it. It's from this wall. I'll be right back.
just going to grab it. Okay. So I see there. Yeah. Here. Here we go. So what these are, this is basically just a strip of all those great photo booth photos and you uh -huh. get many, many cards. So all these random little photos. So any of these photos that you see in here in every single project, even the one with handwriting, they're not people we know. <laughs> they're photo yeah. booth. So it's really great for people that don't necessarily have those vintage photos. Yeah. Now I they can use that. In. You love those roses, the, don't you? Yeah, I do. <laughs> so there's more of those roses on, and then they've added it to this frame, and you wouldn't know that this was a white or a creamish plastic. And that's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. So just by mixing that up, and here you can see uh, the flip frame. This one's done by Vicky Booten, where she just she kept that trophy cup shiny and just decided to put that on with some elastic and put that in your flip yeah. frame. You can see how cute that little salvage doll is. Yeah. Look at her, she's got a little bit of lace going around there and some of the roses. So <laughs> just kind of that mix, that fusion of putting stuff together. This one's done by Paula Cheney. You can see how she used a little bit of paint on that frame. There's that shield charm hanging there and the wood letterpress that says do your best. I just, I love how all of that, you can see these flashcard words like embark. All of these elements just, I don't know, they just go together. They go well, That's yeah. What I said. It's and like it goes together like, where have you been all my life? You know, that sort of thing. <laughs> um, real quick across the top, that's just a vintage collection of stuff that I put in those mini mason jars. So you can turn them into a project or you can just decide, oh, you know what? I want to take some vintage stuff and I want to add to just it. So real quick, let me go through a couple of paper things on this side. Um, just some other things that we added. We do have some new stickers. These are called small talk. So you're familiar with chit chat that we've done for uh -huh. a couple of years of words. Now we've taken those words and done little quotes in there. So you can take that sticker right on a card, right on a photo, and you've got instant journaling. If you're into art journaling, this is called big chat. So these are really big words, big type that you can put in an art journal and it won't get lost and you can use it for that. Some of the things that I'll show you when we go over to Ranger, because we are going to go over to Ranger, I have a feeling. Um, <laughs> some new textured surfaces. So these are adhesive back burlap, adhesive back cork, and adhesive back corrugate all in a pack that I can die cut. I can punch the corrugate and the cork with uh -huh. paper punches if I want and stick it onto a project. And these beautiful things, these are called deco sheets, which I know you might think is glitter, and it is not. There is no glitter on there, no glitter to come off. Um, it, I know. Did it, they never, I mean, they didn't use glitter to make it or anything? It's, no, it's, it's a printing process that nice. creates this really awesome adhesive vinyl that you can punch, die cut, use it with your e-cutter, whatever, and have mm -hmm. this. I call it deco because it reminds me of kind of like art deco, great Gatsby kind of, yeah. you know, really kind of a, a elegant sparkle. Um, and then last, we've got these great pocket cards. So pocket cards are all of my paper lines already pre-cut if you want to put them in any of the page pockets or use them as card toppers. So. They're really fun. A lot of stuff, huh? Yes. Okay. Now we're gonna do. We're gonna do a demo. I am. I am. I want, I'm. I'm excited to see this. You've got this thing going on with all these colors. That's right. So basically, what this is is this is showing you like the gumdrops that we launched uh, in July. This is part of the seasonal line, but they're in the everyday line of ideology. Starts out like that, just that kind of shiny, uh, kind of sparkly rhinestone. This is the largest of the heirloom roses. You can see how that comes. And then, of course, we had mirrored stars in the line, which start this way. And when people see them in all these colors, they're like, oh, you sell them in all these colors. This is just alcohol ink applied to the top of it. And alcohol ink, as I've talked about on a lot of these projects, change everything. So you can take these plastic surfaces, slick surfaces, and really change the appearance with some alcohol ink. So let's, let's go do it. Impromptu demo. Okay, Here we come go. On. <laughs> all right, we're going to run over to Ranger. And it's so impromptu that we've already got some there on the table. <laughs> it's because we have the entire show to ourselves. I told you I had a feeling we're coming to Ranger. <laughs> All right, so here's what's really cool about using this. So any of the surfaces, I just, I just took some gumdrops and I, I took the rose. And we can go ahead and alter this with your alcohol ink because this is a solvent ink. So this is an ink that is for metal, plastic, glass, totally different than Distress or anything like that. It's an ink designed for these kind of surfaces and that's what's important. So when you go to use it, we have some options. The easiest way I find when I want to alter something is I can just drip this on there. Let's just take the rose and start filling in those channels first, right? Mm -hmm. And I put a, a pretty good amount of ink on for that. I can either take an ink tool where I just start dabbing this around cool. and see how it just starts to mix that. Yeah. And don't worry about this puddle of ink because I can pick this up and I can go right on to another well. one because maybe sometime I just want to hit the high point. So. Yeah. When you saw the roses over there that really look like metal, mm -hmm. so that was taking the metallic alcohol ink 
dripping it in there and then taking another color like black or brown and hitting the high okay. points. That's what gave it that depth, right? Uh -huh. So the roses, because they have all kind of that recessed area, that's why you want to really drip it in and then work it in. And you want to use a pretty good amount of ink depending on the size of the flower. Okay. Totally different than these guys, okay? Gumdrops, these are fascinating little guys. <laughs> so gumdrops are very sparkly. It is a flat backed, it's plastic. But what I love is that it's domed on the top. That's what's important. So it doesn't just sit flat on your project. It actually has that kind of arch dome. And that's what makes it, I think, even more sparkly than mm. any just kind of flat bling. These guys, when you go to color it, it's one drop. One drop of alcohol ink. Let's see this. And one drop of alcohol ink will completely change the way this looks. Oh, that's cool, the way that it spread. It's kind of falling down, I guess. Is that? That's what it does. It actually goes in the track in between the crystals. So if I want to change to a different color, and that's going to be your light color. Now, if you wanted it more intense, because sometimes you'll, you'll say, you know what, I like this color, but I want it to be darker. If you go in there, it's just going to make it darker. Uh -huh. The key is you don't want to go over this with the ink tool. Oh, how come? Because the idea behind alcohol ink is it does contain a resin, right? And that resin, when it goes over something super sparkly, dulls it. Oh. All right? Okay. So the resin roses, it doesn't really matter. And you can really see on the sample once these are dry, this has, it still has that resin look, but it doesn't have that sparkle. Uh -huh. Right? So same thing on the mirrored stars. You drip it on and you just kind of let it do its thing. Okay. Because the more you work over it, the duller it gets. And you can see on some of these even, even the lighter colors, see how like that one's a little bit more dull than like that green one? Uh -huh. Because a lighter color, maybe I did want to work it in. So it's not that it's wrong to do. Mm -hmm. It just know that if you keep working this over that, you're going to lose the sparkle. Okay. Pretty All cool right. though. Yeah. yeah, really cool. It's really Fun. great that you can take something and say, oh, I'm just going to buy a pack of these and I'm going to alter it for this project or that project or that project, yeah. which is cool. And then yep. to get the metal look, they'll use the, um, the mixative. Yep, the... the metallic mixatives. Yep, these okay. guys right here. Oops. Now these, these you want to shake up because of course these are a pigment. So these aren't going to be your sparkly thing. So you'll notice that we didn't do the mixatives on these because it would totally dull them. Oh, yeah. Because it's right. not a translucent ink, it's opaque. So these, like if I wanted to put this on the rows, same thing, I'm just gonna go in and you're gonna add that on there. Now, could you use paint? You could certainly use paint, but you're not gonna get kind of that uh, translucent, I say translucent, but it's really like a thinner version of that ink. And I can take that same tool and just start spreading that in there. Now, alcohol inks, what's really interesting is the deeper you want that color. So if you want that really deep gold, uh -huh. let it dry, apply another okay. layer. Okay. Yeah, because remember we're dealing with an ink now mm -hmm. and not a paint. Because okay. paint, right, we can put it on, it's going to be opaque, it's going to stick. But when yeah. we do an ink, the more layers we add, the more mm -hmm. depth we can get. Cool. Yeah, it's very cool. All right, how fun. Education. So this is all from Ideology. Yep, and Ideology the using the Ranger alcohol inks. Okay. Yeah, pretty cool. This is Tim Holtz, in case you forgot, which I know you didn't. And I'm Noelle Hyman from paperclipping.com.